So hey guys, it's Hannah and today I am going to be doing a video on a kind of like a show pack with me. Get ready with me. I have a show this weekend. It's on Sunday. Um, today's Friday. We're trailing out to the show park tomorrow to school on property because Abby's never been there before so I want to make sure she does good. So yeah, I'm doing intro level combined training which is intro test. I'm doing intro test A and then um, a two foot jumper course which I know it's like really low but as I said, first time there we don't want to do anything like we don't want to do what we normally would be doing or move up too quick um, just because we want to like know the horse park before we just go jump into it. So we're only doing two foot jumpers and intro test A, but we did intro test A and intro test B at my dressage rally, so we know how to do it. So I'm hoping for a good score. So right now I am packing. Um, so this is my show jump outfit and my dressage outfit. I may change these britches out, but I'm not sure. I think I'm going to keep them because they have the sticky butt and I really like the sticky butt. But this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing all white because it's going to be so freaking hot. So this is my Ariat Pro Series shirt. It's in a size medium and I've had it for a while. It's actually a little too big, but I really do like it. It has ventilation in the back, under the arms and everything. And it's white So and it has a collar. So it's super, super fancy. and Like not super fancy, but it's nice. If you guys can see, I did, I've gotten it pretty dirty because I've been using it. But yeah. Um, and then this belt I'm wearing because it matches... It matches the fly bonnet I'm wearing. The fly bonnet I'm wearing has, um, or Abby's wearing actually, has a little strip of blue on it, which is why I'm wearing the blue belt. But then for, um, for dressage, I'm probably going to wear my black C4 belt or my, this belt, or like just a black leather belt. Um, this is just for show jump. So yeah, and then I'm wearing my white Piper britches um, with the sticky butt. They're, um, the full seat with the sticky butt and I really love those so that's what I'm wearing I don't have to wear coats at all but there's my dressage coat but I don't have to wear coats at all thank god so that is my outfit um tomorrow I'm going to wear my pipers wherever those are my gray pipers and then just normal belt and everything um so yeah, here's my puppy dog look how cute she is she's like mom I'm trying to sleep why do you have to mess with me She's the cutest freaking animal ever. I love her so much. That's what I'm doing. I'm quickly going to change because I'm wearing a nicer outfit because we have my school meet and greet today. But I'm going to change into just a pair of shorts and something. I have to go clean out the trailer, pack the trailer, get the trailer ready to trailer and do trailery things. So yeah, I'll see you guys once I'm done changing and I'm heading out to the trailer. Alright, so I changed and I'm outside. It's probably about 700 degrees out here. I love Florida. Um, give it hair time, Addie. Okay. So excuse my double chin and everything ugly about me. I'm in all black. Don't ask me why. Sometimes I don't use my head. But I actually haven't cleaned the trailer out since, um, oops, we trailered Snickers and she peed in here and I really don't know why I never did. I'm just a really lazy person. So, well it's good because it's dry now. The divider's off of it because Snickers is a very difficult horse and loves to just turn around on the trailer, so we have to take the divider out because she's very difficult. So, I have my pitchfork in here, thank God. I'm just going to strip. Well, not really strip it. The shavings aren't dirty or anything. So I'm just going to strip out what needs to be stripped out and, like, where she pooped. And get all the dirty shavings out and make sure it's super clean and now I'm just gonna take all the other shavings that were in here and I'll just put them all on the side Abby's being put on and stuff I probably I'm probably gonna end up hosing this down where she peed because I really don't want to let that sit in here I mean it doesn't smell or anything but I don't want it like rotting away at the mat so I'm probably gonna end up hosing that off so tired Probably end up posing that off and scrubbing that out and moving all the shavings up to the front so I don't have to like completely strip the shavings because the shavings are still clean um, and usable. I don't want to have to strip the entire thing. So the divider needs to go back up, but that is a two-person job because that divider is so freaking heavy. And then I sweeped all of it off the ramp, did that. Look, my mom was home. Okay. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do in here because you guys can see there's so much stuff. Alright, so I'm going to take all of this hay that my horse spilled on the way down here. I'm going to shove it all in one hay net, 
put the spare tire in the bed of the truck, put all that stuff in the bed of the truck, and I'm actually going to put all my tack in here. I'm going to figure out a way to put it on here, and I'm probably going to put something up in front of Abby so nothing can slide into her. But I'm going to put all this hay into one of the hay nets. I'm going to transfer all the one hay net so she has a full hay net for the trailer ride and for the stall and everything. So, yeah, we're going to quickly do that. I'm just going to clean out this front part of the trailer. All right, so, hey, guys. What's that? I am cleaning my saddle and stuff. I don't show till Sunday, but I'm going out to the park to school tomorrow, so I want to have, like, clean tack for that. And I also uh, am using one of my mom's older pair of reins that really need to be oiled. So, it's another thing I have to do. I think they're somewhere in this pile. If not, I really don't know where I put them. Um, but I have to oil those and let those sit tonight and then re-oil them again tomorrow because they're, like, super, 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 super stiff. So yeah, I don't think I, I actually don't think I grabbed those. I think those may still be out in the barn. I need to go grab those. And yeah. All right, so now I'm going to go clean these. How am I going to clean them? Do you see my dog's laying? Say I'm a bad girl. Say I peed on the floor. That's why she's ignoring me because I got onto her. Because we don't pee pee on the floor. But I have zero idea how I'm going to clean these or what I'm going to clean them with. Um, go right ahead, Saul. I think I'm just going to try to put them in the sink and just clean them in the sink and then let them dry tonight. I hope they're dry by tomorrow, and if not, I'll just use my other boots. Um, but I think I'm just gonna put them in the sink, put like some, I don't know, I guess we'll figure it out on what I'm gonna do, because I honestly have zero idea. But honestly, let's see. So, I said filming on my phone because I'm a horrible YouTuber. I'm just kidding. I just don't like editing, so. I really have no idea how to spin these. I guess I'm just going to try to put soap on them. Because they really need to be cleaned. So, we'll see how this goes. 620, 625-ish in the morning. We are about to head out to the Florida Horse Park for schooling. Um, I'm showing there tomorrow in the intro combined training and then I have a, just a separate dressage test I signed up for. So we're about to head out there to school just so she can get used to the property and stuff and so I can get a feel for where everything is. Um, so yeah, it's really early. I really, ew, she just took her tongue in my nose. I have my breastplate, bridle, saddle, and girth under here. I got my gloves, I put my Devlin's on and everything so we're about to go feed the horses 705 in the morning i just fed the horses and put abby's bell boots on and snickers fly mask on um i put abby's bell boots on because we always ship in bell boots because my horses are like special always managing to hurt themselves so we always ship in bell boots so abby's bell boots are on snickers ugh. i put her fly mask on because the bugs have been really bad so I usually don't put them on unless the bugs are really bad because it's so hot. But I put her fly mask on. <laughs> and now I think my mom's trying to back up the trailer. Or back up the truck to the trailer. It's amusing because my other ones are um, drying. So these are going to be my, my schooling boots. They're just black Dover open front boots. I like them a lot. My mother's in my car for some reason. Here. 
All right, so I don't know what's all over my face, but I'm going to grab Abby so we can go ahead and start loading or go ahead and load her and get out of here because it's already getting hot. Like I'm already sweating and it's like 7.30 in the morning. Like I love Florida. All right, so we're at the horse park. Um, we actually put Abby in the wrong stall, so we have to go back and change that. Um, I got my number. All right, so I'm in Abby's stall spreading her shavings because I asked my sister to go give me a pitchfork and she just walked away and hasn't come back yet so spreading shavings with my boots because logic Abby is like really sweaty so I'm gonna let her cool off because she's like literally dripping sweat and we haven't even ridden yet because my horse is special so yeah I need to go get her water Abby's super sweaty as I said this is a rub because we just moved down here my vet said that they're gonna start losing hair like anywhere you just put saddles and stuff so she has one right there for my spur and I don't even use very big spurs and I barely even pump touch her with them but she has one right there because this is the side you have issues bending in so you gotta use a lot of leg and it's just for my heel and like sometimes when I wear my spurs so that's gone but just ignore that it's nothing bad it doesn't hurt her at all like I'm sitting here she just doesn't care Hi. Um, but I hung her hay bag up, her water bottle, her water bottle, that's a water bottle kids, her water bucket, I need to bring another one tomorrow, but she usually only drinks one, um, but yeah, I sprayed some liniment on her to help cool her off, her shavings are down, um, I put them mainly in the middle because we're only going to be here today and then we're trailing back tonight, so, yeah, there's people, hello! I'm using my new saddle, Millbrooks, this saddle pad, my Ogilvy, five point. This navy blue bonnet because I don't have a black bonnet yet and it's kind of too hot for black. And yeah, and this is, as I said, just ignore that. Um, and then I'm just wearing her front boots. I don't have a pair of back boots. Um, I have my nice pair, but I cleaned those last night and I'm gonna keep those clean for the show. He's acting like it. You got it. Much better. All right, so hey guys, it's Hannah. Um, you guys already know that. I'm in my stall right now. There's like so many people around me now. It was really quiet earlier, but now it's like everyone's here. But I rode Abby. She was amazing. It gave me a lot of confidence for tomorrow. I don't know if I already said that. I forgot what I vlogged last. But it gave me a lot of good confidence for tomorrow. Um, she's settled in. She's acting like a horse now. Um, I'm picking her stall. We got a new muck bucket and a new pink water bucket and some other stuff we forgot. So we went and grabbed that. We got her hay. And yeah, so I'm gonna finish uh, cleaning her stall and I'm gonna top off her buckets, and yeah. All right, so I took a little nap because I am beyond tired. I literally just walked in my room, got in my bed, and just like passed out, because I am like so tired. The heat drains me so bad and I get so dizzy and just bleh. So I'm going to shower because we're going to the mall and my hair needs to be washed, it's disgusting. So I'm gonna shower and just quickly throw on an outfit and go to the mall and I'm gonna bring a change of clothes and we're going to bathe Abby tonight and yeah yeah all right so it's getting dark outside i'm in the stall with abby we bathed her i braided her tail and put it up in a tail bag i put some of this on her feet my mom oh, that just smells good my mom's spraying her off with this marigold spray um i put stuff on her feet we cut her mane or just evened it out because it was so bad because Chloe kind of just went with scissors at it, so it looked really bad, and it's kind of still uneven right there, but 
clean out her water buckets even though she dips her hay, so it's disgusting. We hung up her fan, fed her, gave her hay. All the usual, so yeah, now we're gonna come back out tomorrow morning. Hey. All right, so I'm gonna rinsing out her water bucket because it is super dirty. And then her feed bucket, not her water bucket. I don't know what I'm talking about. And for some reason, the water is like... Uh, come bring it down here just in case. Why is this like not coming out? Alright, so hey guys, it is like 5.30 in the morning. Um, I'm getting ready to go. We're getting there like beyond early because I want to be, I didn't run through my dressage tests because I'm an idiot and um, like I didn't practice my dressage tests like at all. Um, because I did them at Pony Club, so I didn't really worry too much about it. Alright, so my teeth are brushed, and I packed my wraps, or Abby's wraps, um, bridles, boots, mm -hmm. forgot my other boots, I'm vlogging, that'd be unfortunate. Now I need to get these boots, and then, yeah. Alright, so all my tacks in the car, my jump saddle's right there, Oglavy. Um, boots are all in that bag. My boots are in that bag. Um, dressage girth, dressage saddle, um, jump girth. Um, that's a bag full of saddle pads and bonnets. Um, my bridles are underneath all that stuff. Um, back here, we have our cooler, our little cart thingy, a saddle rack, and then one of the little overhook, um, like stall bridle rack things. And you can't really see. So then I have my breast collar, jump saddle, Ogilvy, boots, both my bridles. Um, this bag is full of shipping wraps and like the wraps itself. My boots I cleaned. Pretty sure that's really all that's in there. My like grooming box thing is down below there and all that stuff. So I'm pretty sure I have everything. I hope I do because if not, I'm screwed. All right, so it is like 6.15. We are heading out. Um, my first ride is at like 8.42. We're getting out there really early because, like I said, I didn't have time. To, I, or I didn't, I did have time. I just didn't run through my dressage tests. So, um, I need to get out there early enough so I can run through those because I didn't because I'm kind of stupid. But, yeah, so it's 6.16 and we're heading out. We're waiting for my sister to get outside and then we're leaving for the show. So, yeah. So, hey guys, we're at the horse park. We're going to walk my course, um, jumper course, and then I'm going to go start tacking up and getting ready for dressage. I have to run through my dressage test because I did not do that earlier, and I have no idea where I'm actually showing. All I know is I'm showing in the small ring, but like I don't know where that physically is because I have no idea where anything has, is at this horse park. So, yeah. Shout out to the Canadian subscribers. Mommy. Jumps after this. You don't have oh wait, no, I have nine. Right there. Okay. So then from here. So how many strides is this? All right. So hey guys, I'm here with Abby. Um, she's being a grump because she's tired. We had a very interesting show day. Um, I actually practiced like their dressage test I had in mind, which is one I did at Pony Club, was actually the wrong one. So I had to, and I ended up having to do um, beginner novice intro test A. I meant beginner novice test A which went okay. Um, Abby was like really lazy today. She just didn't want to move at all. So at one point we couldn't get our canter lead. Um, we got it like right after the letter. So it was like kind of iffy. But she did better on that. Um, then show jump went really well. I don't know what my time was or anything like that, but we made it clear. Um, didn't have any rails or anything. Um, so she was really good about that. Then um, our last dressage test, which, which was intro test B, went well. She wouldn't pick up her trot at one point because she was like just beyond tired because it's like 99% humidity today and it's like 93 degrees so it's like really hot but she still did really well I had my ribbons waiting in the office I don't know what I got but we'll see um, I'm letting Abby dry off and cool off and I'm gonna put lemon on her legs and wrap her but I'm gonna let her chill in here for a little bit more because she was a good girl today even though you were an ass at some point so yeah I changed into just a t-shirt because my other shirt was disgusting and long sleeve so 
I'm gonna let Pony chill for a little bit and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so, hey guys, it's like 2.22. We just left the show park. Um, I already, ex I think I already explained it to you. I'll probably end up doing like a separate video on like a horse show horror story because it was just a mess. But yeah, so we ended up with a third in intro test B and a second in combined training um, entry level, which was the one with the beginner novice test and the two foot jumpers. So we did pretty, pretty okay in that. And then we were 61. And then we got a 59 in like just our plain dressage test. Um, so they score them differently. Like if it's just plain, they score differently. And then if it's like in combined training or in um, eventing, they score they score differently for combined training and eventing and then regular. So in my regular one, I got a 59, which translates to a 95, I guess. I really have no idea. And then in my combined training test, I got a 41.6. So, yeah, I'll do a video or I'll talk to you guys tonight and explain the horror of it and to explain to you why it was interesting. But yeah, so... Alright, so hey guys, um, this is actually the end of the vlog, it's actually like a week later, um, I did not upload it when I wanted to or any of that kind of stuff because um, I have been going through absolute hell lately, and excuse my language, I know you guys, it's like family friendly channel, but I've just been going through absolute hell. Um, and I started school the day after that show, so I really didn't have time to like edit it that night because I was focused on getting to school next week, and then this week I had school, and it's just been... A really really rough re week it was probably the worst first week of school I've ever had in my entire life it was just all sorts of crap and everything me and my boyfriend ended up breaking up and I knew it was coming because he was just acting different and I was just stupid but um, yeah so I just needed some time to just like chill and everything because it has been actual the worst week of my entire life so yeah I'm so sorry this video is long and I'm sorry if it was boring and or at all or anything um, and I'm sorry it's so late and I'm sorry I haven't posted and I'm sorry I haven't given an explanation for why I just needed a break and I really just didn't feel like doing anything but yeah I'm really sorry so I will be hopefully back up to my normal filming schedule soon um, I still am trying to figure out myself and my life and who I am right now so I think I'm gonna take a little break from YouTube so I'll probably upload this video and then I probably won't upload for like a little while just because I really just need to figure out myself and um, everything because life has been really hard lately and I'm trying not to cry right now because it's just been absolute hell. But yeah, so I probably won't be posting. I may post, I'm not sure. If I do, just go follow my Instagram and you guys can stay updated on that because I still do post on that. So if you guys like want to stay updated and you guys haven't been like you're wondering where I am or anything, go follow my Instagram. Um, because I do post on there and I will keep you guys uploaded on there because I'm more active on there So if you guys are like wondering where I am or you still want to see from me and stuff Just go follow my Instagram because I'm very active on there now I have a constant reminder of my ex-boyfriend every day in my child and it's horrible But she's so cute For not posting. I'm so sorry for not giving you guys an explanation. I'm so sorry for everything lately on my YouTube I have just been all over the place and I know I keep posting and giving you all these like excuses and stuff but it's just been so hard lately and I just need a little break so yeah there are my ribbons from the last show I guess we did pretty good um so yeah I will see you guys in my next video whenever that will be as I said follow my Instagram if you guys want to stay updated on everything because I post on there so if you guys want to stay updated and know where I am and what I'm doing and how my horses and everything are doing just follow me on there because I'm active on there so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and everything. And I will see you guys in my next video whenever I decide to post again. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.